welcome back. Well, I've set up two viewports. Um, this one here is the perspective and this is the front. Um, this is how we left our modelling from the last tutorial. Um, I know what it's like when you're first starting with 3DS Max. Things can be a little bit confusing or disorienting. Now, when we're looking here at the front, basically it's as though we were stood at the back looking through our geometry there to the front and I've got a vertices selected here and if I just move that out and if you watch the perspective viewport you can see the position of that vertices as I'm pushing it out there okay let me just undo that um, one other thing you'll notice that our piece of geometry is solid at the moment however we can make it transparent by pressing the ALT and X key so if you see the geometry flipping in and out of transparency that's what I'm doing I'm just pressing the ALT and the X key let's select our left viewport so just press L do a Z for zoom bring that in and I'm gonna do an ALT X now the software that I'm using to record this Camtasia does appear to cause a few problems for 3ds Max as far as response is concerned I'm sure you've noticed when I try to go into the quad menu it has a problem with that and likewise it has a problem with this as you can see in the perspective viewport you can see it greyed out here we can't see it such so let me just there we go if I move it a little bit now you can see it okay so now I want to see the guidelines as far as this geometry is concerned so if I press F4 there we can see it at the moment our geometry is basically one complete piece however it really needs to be subdivided into three different sections now we can do this by selecting the edge option here then we can come over here press the left mouse key keep it pressed down and select all these horizontal lines there then if we move down we're looking for an option the connect and if we click on the tab to the right of it it pulls up this little menu bar here for us now it's asking if I want two connections that's one there and one there yes in fact those look quite right so I'm just gonna click the little green tick down here and that'll say OK and now we have it subdivided into three different sections so if I pop up to vertex it's now showing us all our vertices and again if I left click with my mouse over there I've selected all the vertices difficult to see here but if you look in the perspective viewport there you can see that little band of red ticks that's our vertices um, we're in our move tool so I just want to take that down a little bit to the center there and we need to scale it up as well so up to our scale tool I just uh, it's difficult to see this but there's the little well you can see it in this one the triangle that's where I need to have my cursor because we're gonna scale it up from that point there so that's a little bit better let's scale that up so we're scaling it all up in all directions okay that's right let's go back to here and select these vertices now they're not in the middle so I'm just going to move them along a little bit uh, move them down a touch 
and all we need to do is scale those up just a fraction so hit R for our scale tool and move them out a little bit there I'm not too concerned with this one at the moment so we'll leave that at that that's following the profile quite nicely along there and along the bottom here what I need to do now is just pan over a little bit and select edge um, might be easier to see what I'm doing if I just right click here and zoom in pan it over here what I'm going to do now is we're on edge I'm going to select the end here then I'm going to press alt and you'll see the minus come up and with my left mouse key I'm depressing it keeping it depressed and I'm deselecting those there and as you can see here it's put a ring around the edge now if I go to the select and move tool and I press shift keep the shift key pressed down click the left button on that and then pull out you can see there that I'm actually adding more geometry to it so we've come from there and we've extruded it out to here and I've come to this point here because that's where the um, the canopy starts but also this point here is the same profile as E it just differs in scale so if we pop into our vertices vertex there they're selected and we select our scale tool we can then scale them up a little bit just a bit more and hit W for our move tool let's just pull them down a little bit there we go if we hide our reference material for a moment we're just going to have a look around so I'll hide the reference material uh, we're in this one so I'm going to extend that screen press alt now you can see how the fuselage is developing and what we've got to do basically is take the shape all the way through to this point here so let's pop back to our left viewport and I say zoom for that pull back our reference material and bring it back to the two viewports okay I'm gonna pan this along here we're gonna go to edge again and as you can see that edge is already selected so I'm gonna press the shift key and take that to that point and let go of the shift key now press it again and drag it along to the center point there press the shift key again and drag it to that point there and now we have to model this section around here to our helpers so let's pop over to this viewport I'm going to change that to the left one let's zoom in there and open this a little bit more alt control zoom out so that's the section I need to see there this one I'm going to change to um, the perspective 
let's hide our reference material for the time being uh, zoom around here sorry about this but the system has crashed once again that's twice now um, where were we yes I've got this set up so that it is the left viewport and we've got the perspective viewport here this allows me to select vertices um, what I'll do is I'll select the one which is down there now as you can see in the perspective viewport there's our vertices and what we need to do is just well select it there pop that down and as you can see there you can it just goes through our helper now we do have two vertices running along there so let's undo deselect it we've got two in there and they correspond with that there if we go and select our scale tool we can pull these out a little bit well say a little bit to about there then with our move tool get those to go down a little bit then right click in here we can see our line going across there so we know we've got two verts there and there it is there and there scale tool Let's pull out and I want to take that about there. And of course we can move around. So the next two now there's a vert there and a vert there. Let's select those. Right click here. Scale that to there. Pull down. And this is what we're going to do along the remainder of the fuselage here pop up to that one right click pull that out and we can see it coming through this helper here and that's the surface there and with having both our vertices selected and using our scale tool it's placing both at the same time let's have a look select this one here now what I haven't mentioned is over here we have a little tick box ignore back facing by having that unchecked it is selecting both the vertices I'm going to leave that one at that mindful of the time we'll come back to this one in the next tutorial I'll catch you then mm -hmm.